In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to transform objects in 3ds Max. Transform is just the super special fancy way of saying moving or adjusting the position, rotation, or scale of an object. Here I have three different objects, a cube, a sphere, and a cone. And my current tool is on Select Objects, which allows me to select the object. I have three tools here, Select and Move, Select and Rotate, Select and Uniform Scale, from which I can draw my transformations. I'll click on Select and Move, which will allow me to select and then move any object. When that tool is invoked, and I have an object selected, I get to see what's called a gizmo. This gizmo will allow me to move the object in any one of the axes or planes. So when I select the cube, I'm able to move that object by highlighting its axis and X, and now it will, when I click and drag, only move in the X axis. Similarly, I can move it just in the Y or just in the Z, but I can also move in a plane. This is the ZY plane that I'm moving the box around in, or the XZ plane that I'm moving the box freely in. This gives me great control over how to move the box to suit my needs. We'll select the sphere, move that back in Y, select the cone, move that a little bit closer to the box and a little bit closer to our view. Now I'll try the rotation gizmo. Looks like this. I've got X, Y, and Z axes about which I can rotate. And you'll see a little readout pop up as you're rotating the object that gives you the rotation as you're making the transformation. This is a relative rotation and not an absolute rotation. It gives you a readout of how much you're rotating in that one time. We can freely rotate the object if we click outside of any of those axes lines in the gizmo. Lastly, let's take a look at the sphere. We'll go to the move and we'll move it a little bit closer. And this time I'll click to the scale. This will allow me to scale up the sphere uniformly when I click on the triangle, or I should say the pyramid in the middle of that gizmo. Or I can non-uniformly scale it on any one of the three XYZ axes. Additionally, I can scale it on any one of the planes. For example, this is the XZ plane. I can scale it there. Let's go ahead and select the cone and move it out of the way. However, instead of going up here to the select and move icon, I'll simply press W on my keyboard. And then I'll have access to the move tool. I can hit E for rotate and R for scale. That's W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. We'll go to the rotate, and I'd like to get the cone to be perfectly straight up and down like it was before I rotated it. For me to enter in values for the rotation, instead of just trying to eyeball its rotation, I can go into the transforms type in boxes, at the bottom middle of the user interface and type in exactly or use the spinners to get the rotations I'm looking for. Here I am in the x-axis trying to get to zero. Well I can simply type in zero into the three axes to get the perfectly oriented position that I had before. You can do that with any of the transformation tools. So I'll switch to the move tool by pressing W. I'll be able to move it 
obviously, but I also have its position information in the type ins that I can type into. Let's go ahead and put this back to the origin by typing in 000, and we'll see now it's inside our little egg shape here. Let's select that egg shape and let's move that out of the way. Let's add it, as a matter of fact, return that to its sphere shape by going into the scale tool by pressing R and typing in 0, 0, 0 all the way around. And you'll see that that sphere now has a scale of 0, effectively making it not there anymore. Of course, that's not what we want, so we'll use the spinner to get some height back up. You'll see that the sphere is uniformly scaling as we type in or use the spinners for that number. So in this video, we took a look at how to transform objects using the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools that are available through the keyboard shortcuts or through the icons above.